Good afternoon, everyone. It's about 12.15 in the afternoon on Tuesday, November 20th, two days before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. This is Mike, Michael DiCarlo. This is DiCarlosDanger.com, my blog. Uh, in recent posts to my blog, I made the following entry. While you were watching the fo No Fun League, citizens of Sierra Vista, Arizona, and the county of Cochise, open thine eyes and see the real play you are a part of, not the one on TV. At the first city council meeting of the month of November, in a unanimous vote by, of our elected members, the city in an odd way has created a police authority that exceeds the authority of law within the county. As can be seen in the link below, the newly elected sheriff is the interpreter and enforcer of justice in a set jurisdiction. From Black's Law Dictionary and LawDictionary.org, Sheriff. Definition of Sheriff in American Law. The Chief Executive and Administrative Officer of a County being chosen by popular election. Sheriff. Here's the rub. When a DEA grant was rubber stamped by the council and it authorized the officer to live out in a, reside in a domicile outside the 15, 15 miles required by the city policy and procedure manual, as updated and briefed on the 16th of November on the special council meeting to officially canvass the election prior to the, to the county, which is the responsible party for fair election practices, canvassing the entire county elections. Below is a clip to the residential requirements, and there's a clip down below that. You can go to decarlosdanger.com to actually see the clips. Since the local media, which has been labeled the press, merely, it seems, for its ability to print on paper, has ignored and failed to analyze the situation due to the inability, it seems, to think critically, let us parse this out here. Let it be known that this is not a disparagement of the local PD, as it is opinion of this offer, that the culling of bad apples from the bushel is a process the department as a whole is becoming more proficient in. Below is a video clip from the DEA federally funded grant of financial privilege, as well as the link to the grant book, grant itself. Listen closely as the chief lays out a plan. And there's two links below there. You will notice that, that in the above the link that there is no mention, and I misspelled mention, mean chun, of the funding of the retirement system which is about three-quarters of a million dollar burden annually placed upon us citizens of approximately 40000 ish However, if you dig deeper, you'll see that there's no funding for the retirement system. And that document is below, and I cut and pasted it here. During the period of assignment to the DEA HIDA Task Force, the SVPD will remain responsible for establishing the salaries and benefits, including overtime, of the SVPD officer assigned to the task force, and for making all payments due them. HIDA will with will subject to availability of funds reimbursed to SVPD for overtime payments made by it to the one SVPD officer assigned to the DEA HIDA task force for overtime, up to a sum equivalent to 25% of a salary for GS-12 Step 1. Law enforcement general, schedule, locality, pay tables, rest of the United States, currently at $18,343.75 per year. Then in bold... Nope. Task Force officers overtime shall not include any cost for benefits such as retirement, FICA, and other expenses. You will also find that a council member points out that there is no public outcry for a need for the grant. Perhaps she is pointing out the looming COBRA effect that will be presented as the see what we found. Prior to that, I was out of order in informing the council after my time had expired that we have soldiers guarding opium crops in Afghanistan. The COBRA effect link is below that. In conclusion to this post, permit me to summarize my point. One, the duly elected sheriff is the determiner of justice in each county, in each state of the union. Two, this grant, by permitting the officer to, of the city to reside outside the 15-mile radius required to be employed by city employees, creates a collection of decision point information known as intelligence collection outside the jurisdiction of the duly elected sheriff as 15 nautical miles or air miles authorizes the officer to work in Santa Cruz County by default. Three, the taxpayers and citizens of Santa Vista are now subsidizing the federal government with time worked and pensions for our own employees. Four, the press is dead and is used for nothing more than proliferation of propaganda in Santa Vista and Cochise County and Arizona, which means that we the people have not only lost control of our own destinies in the land of liberty, but is are indeed filled, that is indeed filled with liars and thieves. Or could it really be good people stuck in a bad system like we are led to believe? 
Personally, I truly and honestly hope that it is the latter, not the former, since it would make my life's work in protecting this nation from communism and socialism a failure. Since through my eyes, the city, county, state, and nation have become the former Soviet Union, USSR, Democratic People's Republic, DPRK, and Cuba, that I serve to protect you all from. Do some research on the 100 nautical mile Constitution Free Zone that most of us reside in and understand the violations of the right to be left alone silences the First Amendment of freedom of speech by default, which if you talk out of line or write things that determined to be subversive by the government or any of its ever-growing tentacles, you can be labeled as a terrorist in the land of the free because of the brave. In other local news, there are conflicting reports of immigrants on Agua Prieta, Mexico. That borders Douglas, Arizona, in Cochise County. Local residents call foul on the grandstanding of media reports on the TV. Imagine that. Only time will tell, but either way, we can agree on one thing. Folks are being distracted from the real politics in the local areas. Once again, by the box on the wall. It doesn't add up. Happy Thanksgiving. Michael DiCarlo, signing off for DiCarlosDanger.com. My blog, wishing each and every one of you a peaceful and happy Thanksgiving. Take care.